Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Welcome, my dear Lana, to Manifested Online Tuition. Um, your teacher, Conan Gakure Masimwa. We shall be learning history and government. And today's topic, we are going to look at uh, the first topic of uh, Form 4, which is uh, World Wars. That is the first unit of uh, Form 4 work, and that is what we shall be looking at. But before we do that, we, uh, I want us to look at uh, the overview, the overview of the whole of the whole topic that we are going to look at. So uh, before uh, we, we, we come to the very end of this lesson, I want you, my dear Lana, to have been able to explain or define the term world war. And then you should also be able to give uh, uh, the different uh, wars, the different world wars that we have had in human history. And then lastly, you should be able to give a detailed outline of what uh, you are going to cover in this unit. So that is what we are going to be covering in this lesson. So when we talk of a uh, world war, what is a war? What is war? War is a conflict between two parties. A conflict between two parties. That is war. In uh, the societies we have, in the relationships we have around us, maybe even in your class or in, at home, you have uh, different disagreements between one person and another. You have different ways of reacting to these disagreements. But now, in your Form 1 work, I remember uh, you, when you are talking about uh, negotiation and conflict resolution, there are different ways of solving a problem. We had peaceful uh, conflict solving methods, and then we had uh, negative or those methods that are not good, which includes war, that is fighting, use of physical force to solve a conflict. So when you talk of a world war, when you talk of a world war, what is a world war? World war is war that involves so we are looking at the definition the definition of definition of world war what is world war a world war is war that involves involves many countries and happens and happens and happens between continents so my dear lana i want you to get this definition very well when we talk of a world war we are talking of war that involves many countries that is the point i do not want you to forget there are many countries many countries have to be involved for that to be called a world war so if for example we are having a war between uh two countries let's say for example we are having a war between uh somalia and kenya that is that we cannot term that to be a world war a world war has to involve many countries and often it has to be between continents it has to be between continents so we are going to look at the different examples of world wars that we have had in human existence since the humanity erupted what kind of world wars have we had that is what we are going to look at in this unit and then we are going to uh, uh, discuss the major world wars that we have had so in the history of mankind we have had two wars we have ha we had the first world war that happened in uh, 1914 to 1918 
that was the first world war. We also had another war that we call or refer to as the second world war, which happened in 1939 to 1945. So those are the two wars or the two world wars that we have had in human existence. So in this unit, in this first unit or in this first chapter of your form four work, we shall be discussing these wars that affected the world or that happened in the world. That is what we are going to be looking at when we talk of world wars, which is the first unit in uh, in uh, your form for work. So, to start us off, we shall be looking at the first world war. We shall be looking at the first world war as our first subtopic. So, number one, we shall be looking at the first world war. We shall be looking at the first world war. And uh, as I've mentioned, it happened between 1914 to 1918. That was the first world war. So in this unit, we shall ask ourselves, what were the causes of the first world war? What led to the first world war? War. So that is the first thing that we shall be discussing in this, uh, in this unit. We shall be looking at the causes of the First World War. What made so many countries to come up and fight against one another? That is the answer that we are, we, that is one thing that we are going to be discussing. And then, number two, we shall be looking at the countries the countries that were involved in uh, this war. They are, we have said a world war has to be between many countries. So, which are these countries that were involved in the first world war? That is a question that we are going to answer in this, uh, in this, uh, in this unit. So just to give us an overview and uh, an idea of these countries, the First World War, we, when there is a war, normally, whenever there is a conflict, it has to be between two or more parties. But there, there has to be one who is being fought at and another one who is going to defend themselves. So when you talk of countries, there has to be groups of countries or there have to be countries that were involved. So uh, when you talk of countries, we had uh, two groups that were fighting against one another. We had Germany We had uh, Austria Hungary And then we had us, the Central powers the central powers that is the first group that we had now one that this is first group that was fighting in the first world war now which is the second group the second group we had britain then we had france as uh, the next, and then we had Russia. The Russia, Russia. So these uh, these uh, countries they formed a block that we refer to as the triple powers. The triple powers. So when you talk of countries, these two groups, we have Germany and Austria, Hungary together with Italy at the initial stages. But as we continue, we, sh we shall see that at some point, Italy will revert and join the, this other group uh, towards the end of this war. But now at the initial stages, we had these two groups. These ones were fighting against these ones. So we had... Uh, different uh, uh, groups that came to support them. It is said that uh, by the end of this world war, almost 135 countries 
were being involved in fighting this war. But these were the major players in this war. So uh, that is another thing that we are going to be looking at. I'm just going to give us an overview of what we shall be discussing. So uh, apart from that, we shall also look at uh, the cause of the war, the cause or how the war took place. How are they fighting? We have said that there were countries. So how are these countries fighting? Where were they fighting from? How are they fighting? That is what we refer to as the cause of the of the war. And then we shall look at the effects. The effects of the war. What did this war, what, what, what were the effects of the First World War to humanity in general? And then uh, lastly on the, on the First World War, we shall look at the treaties that were made. The treaties that were made to bring the First World War to a conclusion. So as we discuss the First World War, I've said my learner, we are going to look at the causes. What caused the First World War? And then number two, we are going to look at the countries, all the partners, all the parties that were involved in the First World War. And then number three, we are going to look at the cause. How did the war take place? How are they fighting? What instruments were they using? And then we shall look at the effects. What was the impact of the First World War? And then we shall look at the treaties that the parties uh, signed to bring a close to the, to the war. Because this World War, was, they were using different kind of, uh, of, 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 of uh, machinery, which was very devastating. A lot of lives were lost. So we shall look at what were the other effects, apart from loss of life, apart from loss of property, what were the other effects that uh, were brought about by the First World War. Okay, so, uh, so my dear Lana, I want us to look at the next, uh, the next thing that we are going to look at in our, in our unit, in this uh, topic of World Wars. We shall look at the next uh, we shall look at the next uh, thing that we are going to look at. So uh, my learner, I want you to note this that when this war was taking place, there were a lot of uh, things that were happening around. And to bring it to a conclusion, we have I've mentioned there were treaties. What is a treaty? Ask yourself, uh, you, uh, I, I don't know if you know. What is a treaty? You can ask yourself, you can ask your friend there, what is a treaty? I'm sure you have mentioned, you have discussed them even in your previous classes in history and government. What is a treaty? So when you talk of a treaty, it is an agreement that uh, different parties have to make so that they can come to an amicable conclusion. That is what we refer to as a treaty. So these parties that were involved in the First World War, to bring a close, at, uh, that is towards the end of uh, 2018 and in 20, uh, not 20, in 1918 and then 19, uh, uh, 19, um, you find that they came and made what? They made peace. They made uh, treaties to bring peace among themselves. So that is, uh, and then as a result of the treaties they made, there is an organization that uh, came or that was initiated to bring this peace. This is what we refer to as the League of Nations. That is the next thing that we are going to be looking at. The League of Nations. The League of Nations. So as a result of the treaties that were made, and just to mention, these treaties, they, they came down and uh, they, they went to a place known as Paris, and then they discussed among themselves, what are we going to do to make sure that we have uh, a, a lasting peace? We do not see the effect of, of a world war that we have seen. So they made an international organization which is referred to as the League of Nations. This is an organization that the parties that were fighting against one another in the First World War made 
to make sure that there was peace in the in the world so uh we are going to look at uh, when we, we look at uh, when we talk of uh, the league of nations we are going to look at its formation how was it formed how was it formed where was it formed what were the aims what were the aims of its formation aims you can talk of objectives what were, what were, why was it made and what were its duties what role was it going to play in the world affairs and then number 2 we are going to look at the composition the composition of the league of nations or you can talk of organization or organization how was it organized was it just a, a, a party was it just a, a, a farm or a company how was it organized and you are going to look at the different organs that were that were in in in, in this uh, uh, on this you are going to look at the organs of the league of nations we had the assembly we had the secretariat and many other things that we are going to talk about we had the council we had the specialized uh, uh, agencies that each of them had a, a role to play and then we are going to look at the achievements 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 of the league of nations what did it achieve if there was any achievement we are going to look at the achievements did it play its purpose we have talked of aims so we are going to look at did the aims or did the league of nations get any aims and as we, are, uh, we can see here there were some achievements that they made and then we are also going to look at the failures failures of the league of nations because as i i, I hidden earlier there was a uh, there were two world wars we have just so far we have just discussed one the first world war that means there was another war after the league of nations so there was that, that means there was uh, some at some point the league of nations failed so we are going to be discussing what were the failures of the league of nations and then lastly on the league of nations we are going to look at the reasons reasons for the failure reasons for the failure of the league of nations because as i have mentioned this uh, league of nations was created to make sure that the warring parties the central powers and the triple powers came to an agreement came to peace by signing of treaties and through the signing of the treaties we got what the league of nations but at some point it failed and then it broke out to now the last part that we are going to be discussing the second world or the second world war so that is the next part that we are going to be discussing in our unit the second world war the second world war so after the league of nations so uh there was a uh, a moment of peace there was a moment of peace when the league of nations was uh, operating but at some point there was an outbreak of a second world war which happened in 1939 to 1945 there was uh, another outbreak of the second world war that happened in 19 uh, in 1939 uh, to uh, 1945 so we find that uh, this uh, war was as a result of the first world war that there were some issues that the 
League of Nations tried to solve, but they could not be solved. That necessitated the outbreak of the Second World War. It necessitated the outbreak of the Second World War. So we are going to look at the countries that took place or the countries that took part. The countries that took part in the Second World War. In the same way, we are going to have two groups of powers that were fighting against one another. So the first group, we refer to them as the Allied Powers. We have the Allied Powers. This is the first group of the uh, countries that took part in the Second World War. What are these, or which are these, uh, which are these uh, powers that we refer to as the Allied Powers? The first one we have Russia. Russia was the first, was the, the, the uh, an example, or was the, 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 the country that was uh, fighting uh, against uh, or uh, uh, as part of the Allied powers. Then we had France. Then we had Italy, had joined them now. Remember here, I said before in the First World War, Italy was part of Germany and the Central Powers. But when we come to the Second World War, Italy joined, joined uh, 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 the Allied powers. And then lastly, we had uh, Belgium. Belgium. US, uh, the, 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 uh, the Russian was at this time known as USSR. Yeah. USSR, that is how it was referred to. So you can find somewhere else talking of SS, USSR. It is referring to Russia. And then the on the opposite side, we had the Axis powers. The Axis powers. We had the Axis powers. Which are these uh, countries? We have Germany. And then we have uh, Germany together with uh, we had Germany as the first country that was fighting there and then we had Japan that joined into the war as the Axis powers. So these are the two opposing groups that were fighting during the Second World War. So as we talk of this, we shall talk of uh, what were the causes. Why did they start fighting? So we shall also discuss the causes. And then just like in the First World War, we shall look at the cause or the cause of the war. We shall look at the cause of the war. How did they fight? What items were they uh, using to fight? And then we shall look at uh, the result, or uh, before the result, we shall look at the, 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 the defeat of the Axis powers. We shall look at how. Now, at the end of the war, the Allied forces were able to overcome the Axis powers. So we shall look at why were they defeated. And then finally we shall look at the impacts. Impacts of the of the war. So my dear Lana, this is everything that we are going to look at or that we are going to be discussing in this unit. We shall look at the first world war and have, uh, uh, before that we have already defined what a world war is. Then we shall look at what is the first world war which countries did they did take place uh, or took part in the First World War? What were the causes of the First World War? How did they fight?
fight. And then what were the effects? But now you have uh, heard that uh, in all these wars, there is a party that is really uh, important, but we have not mentioned it in any of the, of the, of the wars. That is the United uh, uh, States of America. USA is another party that took place in the First World War and also took part in the Second World War. But I want you to note, it is not an active member because it does not belong to any of it at the initial stage of the fight. There are reasons why the USA did not take part in any of the, uh, of the conflicts. The first reason is USA uh, uh, put itself apart from the two groups. These groups, it wanted to, uh, to be remain neutral. Why do you think it, it, it wanted to remain neutral? One of the reasons why it remained neutral was they, they were doing business with all these countries. So they could not join either of them to fight against the other. Because if you are doing business with Germany, the Britons will also take away your market. So the, the, the United States decided they are going to take a neutral position. Another reason why the USA was not ready to take part in the First World War and the Second World War, initially, they had not been, uh, uh, they had not been, uh, their interest had not been uh, interfered with at any level. So that is another reason. But now, towards the end of, towards the end of uh, the First World War, we'll find that the USA helped uh, the triple uh, helped the triple powers to fight against the, the 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 central powers that is because germany at some point as we are going to discuss the cause of the war these details we are going to give them as we discuss the cause of the war germany at some point decided to uh, to fight everybody despite what uh, even if you do not have a conflict with them so at some point germany uh, uh, interfered with the interest of the of the United States, and then the United States decided to come and join and help the triple powers. Actually, that is the reason why uh, the the First World War came to a conclusion because USA brought significant power to fight against the Central Powers. In the same way, even in the in the Axis, you'll find that uh, here at the towards the end, uh, uh, Germany is uh, or uh, when you talk of uh, USA, it's going to come and help defeat uh, the, the Axis powers. So that is, uh, in, in a nutshell, what we are going to be discussing in our unit of the world wars. I believe we are going to have a very good time uh, talking together. We are going to have a, a, a very good time trying to interrogate uh, well, what, what really were the causes of this fight? What really were the effects? And even today, I've said uh, a war was happening even between continents. How are these continents involved in these wars? We are going to be discussing and uh, uh, explaining more in our coming classes. So as we come to the very end of the, of the, of the uh, lesson, my dear Lana, I want you to uh, to, to, to do uh, uh, this uh, revision question as we come to the very end of the lesson. So uh, I want you to have this question that is going to help you revise whatever we have just talked about. Revision question. Revision question. So I want you to just do a very simple question that we have already uh, ha handled. Yeah, define define the term world war. Define the time world war. Define the term world war. So that is the question I want you to attempt, my dear Lana. So uh, until uh, next time.
time when we shall be discussing more about this topic. It's bye-bye for now. Manifested Publishers Limited is a research and teaching center that specializes in the production of learning materials and private online tuition for primary, secondary, tertiary, and university education. Sign up as a new customer at www.manifestedpublishers.com. Fill in the required credentials, full name, email, phone number, and password. Click on Sign Up. Enter the code received on your phone or email address for verification of your account, then proceed by clicking on confirm button. Your account is ready for use and you can watch some free videos before you purchase. To get access to complete videos, use the following steps to buy. Click on view all courses. Select the course you want to subscribe to. Click on the subject you want. Click on buy this subject. The selected subject will be added to cart. Place or hover the cursor on cart or total amount and click on check out now to proceed. Click on Lipa na Mpesa and proceed to pay. To access your lessons, place the cursor on your name, then click on subscriptions. To download videos for offline studying, click on watch offline. Download the manifested e-learning desktop application depending on your computer operating system. Install the application on your computer. Sign in on your downloaded app using the credential used during registration. Place your cursor on your name, then click on subscriptions. Click on the subject you purchased. On the top right window, Click on Download for Offline Viewing. Click on Go to Course. In your new window, click on the first topic, Lesson 1. Downloading process begins automatically. Thank you for choosing to study with us. For more information, you can call us on 0724-173845.